Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with moderation and reaction video. And what I did was um, Jen from Jen Loves and What's Up in Makeup had a uh, interview with one of the uh, people over at the FDA and that video has just come out and I watched it and this is a reaction video. It's not a a huge reaction like a negative reaction video but I did have a couple thoughts when I was watching that they were talking about laws or the laws that are going to be changing around hair straightening products and um, it just reminded me of some advice that I was given actually it started with my grandmother way back in the day way back in the day <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling kind of old today, um, but uh, but um, it, she had some good advice, and then I've heard that advice reiterated um, in the beauty community here and there, and I saw, thought that I would just go ahead and pass it along as well. Um, but before we do that, let's go through what I have on here, and then we'll get into all the fun stuff. So. I did go ahead and start with both the uh, super, goop, super, goop, super Goop Glow Oil in SPF 50 and the Super Stay um, C Plus by Maybelline. I have mine in 102. So that's what I have on as far as my base. I did use the Pretty Fresh Concealer by uh, ColourPop as well. And then as far as the blush I have on today, it's the Glam Light, um, the Scooby-Doo palette. And so I have the pink blush on today. And uh, Fun Holographics, you, there are two different um, pictures and different lighting. You get different pictures. So I always think that that's kind of fun. And then um, what's newer to me is the Scooby-Doo highlighter. And so again, uh, the holographic packaging, which is so much fun. And I have this highlighter down here on. Uh, with these highlighters, they do have a little bit of glitter in them. So if you're okay with having some glitter on your cheeks, they're a lot of fun. If not, you might want to use some uh, like glitter glue or something to keep them in place. Um, I don't mind sparkles on my cheeks so um, I also use the MAC and this is their light radiant uh, light radiant rosy bronzer so that's what I have on for my bronzer today as far as what I did for the lips I went ahead and used the ColourPop lip pencil this one's in Brink and the Hard Candy uh, Plumper Gloss and this one's in my type and then I did go ahead and put some of the e.l.f. lip oil over the top of it. So that's what I have on there. Um, I have been playing with the Chucky palette from Glam Light and doing looks. And today was the first day that I actually mixed it with another palette. Because I really... Um, it, I wanted to go ahead and get it to play with the maroon colors and the deep dark colors and it's definitely a palette that I have to go ahead and mix, I have to use another palette with it, it's a companion palette because it just runs a little bit too dark for my everyday looks but the dark colors in here are gorgeous so uh, this black with the, um, all the shimmer is really gorgeous and a whole bunch of the maroons and reds are pretty too. So um, today on the outer corner, I went ahead and used um, some of this shade and then some of this shade. So that's what I have on from this palette. And then I went ahead and used the Pretty Please by ColourPop. You could use any palette that has any pinks in it or um, that's or golds if you want to go that way. This one has pinks and golds in it. Um, but I did use this on the inner corner and under the brow. And then I used some of this um, on the inner corner as well. And then this color on the lid. And so that's what I have on there. And I don't think I did any liner. No, didn't do any liner. Uh, usual suspects are the Essence Thick and Wow, and then also the Essence Volume. 
So uh, this is what I have on for mascara, and this one I have in uh, Caramel Blonde, and this one is what I have on my brows. So uh, getting back to the topic at hand here, they were talking about how the laws around hair straighteners are going to change because of uh, formaldehyde being in there, and they want to regulate formaldehyde because it may be cancer-causing. Um, oh, I forgot something. Going back to makeup for a second, um, I did put some of the Diamond Dust by Physicians Formula on my lid. And so um, if you want something to add a little bit more shimmer and um, uh, that isn't really expensive, like the um, made, or the Mario uh, one, Mario d does this too. It's a topper. It has some shimmer on it. Gives you a little bit of moisture. So this is a good product that I don't think I've mentioned before. So, okay, going back to... Uh, the hair straightening. So um, they were talking about how the laws are going to go ahead and change and um, a lot of products aren't going to be available anymore and that kind of thing. So um, moderation. And I was taught that moderation in anything that goes on your body or in your body is just a good just a good practice. And no, I haven't, I wish I had paid it more attention to that particular advice when I was younger, but I didn't, like a lot of young people. And um, it's just more along the lines that you shouldn't use the same toothpaste for 20 years, that the ingredients in that particular toothpaste haven't been studied in long-term studies. I know that there are some, but they're not a lot. So we don't know what using the same product for 20 years will do for your system. So expiration on makeup is a good thing because you want to be switching it out. You don't want to be sticking with the same thing all the time because you don't know, especially with things like foundation, what those ingredients are going to do to you long term. And so um, with makeup, with lotion, with um, toothpaste, with deodorant, with, you know, anything that actually gets into your body, change it out. Don't stop using stuff. I mean, don't stop using body lotion or body oil or whatever. Just change it out. Just make sure you're not using the same thing for 20 years. And then all of a sudden you get a cancer diagnosis and you're like, what happened? And I'm not saying that would happen, but it could happen. And so what we were, as a as a group, um, when I was growing up, the whole idea was if you don't do the same thing long term, you're not going to have the chance to have those negative effects happen. And like I said, I haven't been the best person as far as, I mean, I get stuck on a product and I like it. Um, and I've also been known to hoard makeup. So i um, trying to cut down on that. But yeah, it does happen. And you find something that you like and it's just, it's difficult to change, but it's something that since we don't have all the information about about certain ingredients that you know actually can soak into your system and be in y your body, we don't have all the information. So that's one thought about how to avoid getting long-term effects that you have no idea about because we can't know because there just haven't been studies done on ingredients, long-term studies. So uh, that's my thought. As you can tell, I feel a little bit passionate about it. And it was something that as soon as I started watching the video, I started just thinking about it and going back to it. And so I thought I'd put it out there for everybody. And um, Hopefully it helps you. Um, hopefully it doesn't hinder you in any way. And uh, I think that's probably my video for today. And I hope that you're having a great day. And I will, well, actually, we have to, here, here's how the eye look turned out. 
yeah, kind of forgot to do that part. But I hope you're having a great day, and I will go ahead and see you later. Bye.